Episode 63, Every Woman's Dream. The Gorgeous Evening Gown. Ning Shi had indeed heard a lot of people talk about Ning Shuelua's wardrobe, claiming that it housed many limited edition items. She didn't have much feeling for luxury brands and only bought them to fit into the industry. In fact, she often preferred to explore creative designs from individual brands. She mentioned once that she liked the clothes designed by a friend of Lu Tingxiao, and the next day, her wardrobe was filled with that brand. Ning Shi, are you going? She invited all the actors from the crew. Let me inform everyone. Ning Shi smiled and politely declined, I'm sorry, but I'm quite tired today and want to go back to rest early. You all have fun. The excited actresses, immersed in their own joy, suddenly remembered Ning Shi's conflict with Ning Shuelua and no longer insisted. One of them hurriedly said, All right, then you go rest quickly. Back at the apartment, Ning Shi kicked off her shoes and fell asleep immediately. She had hardly slept last night with Lu Tingxiao, and after a whole day of shooting, she was exhausted. Meanwhile, downstairs in Ning Shuelua's apartment, a lively party was just getting started. During this period, Ning Shuelua had put a lot of effort into restoring her popularity and connections. This time, she even specially invited all the actors from the crew to her home. Ning Shuelua's apartment in Pearl River Imperial Residence was the largest, with half of the space separated as a dressing room. It was filled with famous brands and could indeed be considered every woman's dream. Most of the people who came this time were actresses, so they were naturally most interested in the clothes and bags. As soon as they arrived, they excitedly requested a tour of the dressing room. Shuelua, where's your dressing room? Hurry up and show us. Yeah, I heard there are many rare clothes, and some are priceless. We definitely have to see. If we come to Shuelua's house and don't see her dressing room, it's like coming here for nothing. Hearing the compliments, Ning Shuelua remained composed. Those gossip magazines exaggerate too much. It's nothing, really. Gossip magazines? That's the number one best-selling fashion magazine. Yes, yes. Shuelua, don't hide it from us. Ning Shuelua could only compromise, all right, don't be disappointed when you see it later. After saying this, she led them towards the dressing room. At the end of the corridor, Ning Shuelua opened a door. It's this one. As soon as the door was pushed open, everyone was filled with amazement. Chanel, Hermes, Donna Karen, Prada, Guess, all are global limited editions. Oh my god. I feel like I've come to heaven. I don't want to leave. So envious. Shuelua, you're really fortunate. I heard all these were collected by your boyfriend from around the world for you. Ning Shuelua watched everyone's envy and jealousy, and she regained her radiant demeanor. She modestly said, I didn't intentionally collect all these. It just happened over time. After touring the dressing room, the party finally began. However, the topic of the dressing room lingered throughout the evening, and people couldn't stop discussing it. Near the end of the party, everyone was still reluctant to leave. After seeing Ning Shuelua's financial power, many began to curry favor with her. At this moment, actress Fangya suddenly said, Hey, didn't Ning Shi come today? I asked her. She said she's too tired and wants to go back to rest early, someone replied. Now that you mention it. I heard that the dormitory arranged for Ning Shi by Xingxia Entertainment is also in Pearl River Imperial Residence, right? It's on the same floor as Shuelua. Why don't we go visit her? Fan Gyesa Gyesdid. Ning Shuelua was delighted by the idea. After touring her place, going to Ning Shi seemed like a downgrade. With a slightly embarrassed expression, she said, But, is it appropriate for so many of us to go? Yeah, Ning Shi's place is not as spacious as Shuelua's. Fang Ye could see that Ning Shuelua actually wanted them to go. She stood up and gestured to everyone, let's go. It's not far anyway. Just a quick hello won't hurt. The doorbell rang incessantly, disturbing Ning Shi who was in a deep sleep. Groggily, she checked her phone and realized it was nearly midnight. Who could be looking for her at this hour? Hopefully, nothing urgent. Ning Shi had no choice but to get up and answer the door. To her surprise, when she opened the door, there were dozens of people outside, all actors from the crew. Leading the group was the glamorous Ning Shuelua, and beside her was Fang Ye, who played the role of the Empress. Ning Shi, just waking up, was stunned for several seconds before realizing that someone must have told her about Ning Shuelua's party at home tonight. So, why were all these people not going to Ning Shuelua's place and instead crowding her doorstep? At this moment, Ning Shuelua apologized with a sheepish smile, Ning Shi, were you sleeping just now? I'm really sorry for waking you up. We didn't expect you to sleep so early. 
We had a party tonight, and since you didn't come, the girls missed you. We thought of you living in the same building, so everyone came over to say hello. Before Ning Shi could respond, Fang Ye quickly added, Shi, Shuelua is right. You wouldn't mind, would you? Right, Ning Shi? Come on, everyone, let's go inside. It's not good to block the doorway like this. With that, she barged into the house, and the others followed suit. Ning Shi stood at the doorway, her lips twitching. What did they expect her to do when everyone was already inside? Fang Ye was a turncoat who sided with whoever was more influential. She had tried to curry favor with Ning Shi several times after she signed with Shengshu Entertainment, but Ning Shi had ignored her due to her dubious intentions. Now, it seemed she had once again shifted her allegiance to Ning Shuelua. Once inside, Fang Ye immediately complained, Oh my, Ning Shi, why is your place so small? We can't even fit in here properly. In fact, Ning Shi's apartment was not small, it was the perfect size for comfortable living. However, with so many people, the entire living room quickly became crowded, making the space seem unusually cramped. As soon as Fang Ye finished her complaint, without seeking the host's permission, she strolled into the dressing room. She pushed the door open, revealing a shocked expression, Ning Shi, is this your dressing room? It's so small. Fang Ye led the way in voicing her opinion, and others trying to please Ning Shuelua chimed in. Yeah, so small. The living room, bedroom, and other places can be overlooked, but for us artists, the dressing room is the most important. This small space surely won't be enough. I thought Shengshu Entertainment was very wealthy, but it's just average. It's barely livable. Oh, you can't say that. Not everyone can have a place like Shuelua's. Ning Shuelua watched everyone pointing fingers at Ning Shi's living space and sighed in sympathy, Ning Shi's location is excellent. The view is great. What's the use of a good view? We don't spend much time at home anyway. Fang Ye said while flipping through Ning Shi's clothes hanging outside. Then, with a face full of pity, she commented, Oh my god. There's not even one decent piece of clothing. Is this Chanel from last year? And this Prada, it's so outdated. Ning Shi, I'm not criticizing you, but you really don't care about these things. No matter how good your acting is, in the entertainment industry, acting is secondary, packaging is the most important. Standing at the door of the dressing room, Ning Shi finally understood why these people suddenly came to her place tonight. It turns out they came specifically to cause trouble for her, to see her embarrassment. Fang Ye makes a good point. I might skip meals, but I must buy clothes. It's crucial because if the media catches me wearing last year's styles, it would be so embarrassing. I knew it. Someone agreed, and Fang Ye proudly nodded, intentionally saying to Ning Shuelua beside her, Shuelua, you have so many clothes at home. Why not give Ningxi a few? Any piece will surely be better than what she has now. Ningxi's face darkened at the suggestion, no need. Oh, Ningxi, don't refuse. We're all in the same group, helping each other is only natural. You're not still bothered by the misunderstanding between you and Shuelua, are you? She just told us that she doesn't mind anymore. Fang Ye said with a triumphant look. Hearing Fang Ye's absurd remarks, Ningxi was speechless. It was painful to argue with an idiot. Seeing Ningxi silent, Fang Ye continued smugly, since Xiao Wei is still in the building, Shuelua, just tell her where Ning Shi is. Let her bring the clothes over. All right, Ning Shuelua nodded and immediately called her assistant. In less than three minutes, assistant Xiao Wei arrived, panting, carrying a pile of clothes. Miss Shuelua, here are the clothes you wanted. Ning Shuelua looked satisfied with the clothes and spoke sincerely, Ning Shi, please take these. Consider it a small token of my goodwill. They may not be the best, but they are all the latest designs of this year. Fang Ye's eyes widened in excitement, not the best? Each of these clothes is worth tens of thousands. Ning Shi's entire salary for this entire drama might only be able to afford one piece. Yeah. These clothes are so expensive. Shuelua, you're so generous. Ning Shi, just take them. Don't be stubborn. Ning Shi pinched her brow, enduring the urge to snap. She just wanted to come back, rest, and get some sleep. She never expected to be attacked by Ning Shuelua and her brainless entourage. It would have been better to stay in the hotel. Ning Shi, don't be polite. Come on, let me help you put them in the closet. Such good clothes shouldn't get dusty or dirty. Fang Ye said, disregarding Ning Shi's wishes and privacy, and boldly opened the closet door. About to put the clothes inside, Fang Ye froze the next second. Everyone behind her also froze. In the closet, there hung an evening gown, its entire set glowing like the northern lights, dreamy and enchanting. 
The gemstones embedded in it sparkled like the stars in the universe. Especially the large ruby at the neckline, dazzling and eye-catching. Even Ning Shi herself was stunned. Wasn't this the dress that Lu Tingxiao gave her before leaving? Earlier, she had Yuan manager and Wan Wan move the clothes here and didn't pay much attention afterward. She wondered if they thought her place was too small, so they only left her with her favorite piece. As she thought about it more, it seemed very likely. Looking at the shocked expressions of everyone, she wasn't surprised. When she first saw it, she was moved to tears, thinking it was priceless. Later, Lu Tingxiao explained that it was just a prototype with cheap substitute materials. Nevertheless, she still thought it was incredibly beautiful. It took quite a while for everyone to snap out of their days. Fang Ye, holding a few pieces of clothing, stood frozen in the act of pulling open the closet door, her face filled with shock as she muttered, How, this can't be possible. The others exchanged bewildered looks, uncertain expressions on their faces. Is this a joke? How could Ning Shi have clothes of this class? What a joke. Just by looking at it, it seems very expensive, possibly even worth millions. So beautiful. If I could wear it once, I'd die without regrets. A young girl couldn't help expressing her admiration. At this point, Fang Ye absent-mindedly grabbed the dress and sneered, Heh, at first glance, it seems pretty, but upon closer inspection, don't you find it tacky? The actress who helped invite Ning Shi murmured, Really? It looks quite classy. Can you buy such clothes on Taba? Fang Ye shot her a glance and then turned to Ning Shuelua, deliberately asking, Shuelua, can you recognize the brand of this dress? Ning Shuelua pretended to ponder and then shook her head, I've never seen it before. It seems to have a unique style. I don't think any luxury brand has this kind of design. Fang Ye immediately looked pleased, Shuelua is well versed in all the major brands limited editions, and she collects them all. Even she hasn't seen it. It must be some knockoff street stall goods, right? Others, eager to show off their knowledge, chimed in, this lace does look a bit tacky, and the gemstones appear cheap. They must be glass. Fang Ye looked disdainfully at Ning Shi, Ning Shi, even if it's an outdated style, it's still a brand. How could you wear such cheap street stall goods? I bet this dress doesn't cost more than 200 yuan. After saying that, Fang Ye casually threw the dress on the ground. Seeing the dress thrown on the ground, Ning Shi's expression instantly turned cold. She didn't mind Fang Ye tossing the other clothes around, silently watching her show off. But this dress, the one Lu Tingxiao had given her, ignited her anger instantly. Ning Shi immediately walked over, bent down to pick up the dress, and carefully brushed off the dust. Her eyes, like ice blades, shot towards Fang Ye. Fang Ye didn't know what happened. Just a glare from Ning Shi made her shudder, as if she was being stared at by something terrifying. She stumbled backward, then sneered, Ning Shi, is this necessary? Getting nervous over a 200 yuan street stall item? Seeing Ning Shi's face change finally, Ning Shuelua's mood became pleasant again. She gave Fang Ye a dissatisfied look and said, Shoya, don't say that. At first glance, this dress looks quite good. Ning Shi must like it a lot. It's normal for her to be concerned. So many high-end brands she doesn't like, yet she likes this trash? She must be crazy, and her taste is so low. Feeling the closeness from Ning Shuelua, Fang Ye became even more unbridled, speaking almost recklessly. At this moment, someone in the crowd suddenly walked quickly to Ning Shi, saying, Wait a minute, this dress, why does it look more and more familiar? The speaker was the actress Guan Xiaoqi, who had replaced Jia Qingqing in the female supporting role. She was from the same company as Ning Shi, and as they had recently joined the crew, they had only bumped into each other once or twice. After Guan Xiaoqi finished speaking, she moved closer to carefully examine the dress. Fang Ye, standing nearby, sneered, it's just a piece of old clothing. What's there to look at? Ignoring Fang Ye, Guan Xiaoqi continued to observe the dress attentively. After a while, she glanced at the discreet and simple tag on the collar that read GE. Then, with a serious expression, she looked up at Ning Shi and said, if I'm not mistaken, this dress is the work of the renowned and eccentric designer Gabrielle Elvis. It gained fame when actress Joshua Larson wore one of his designs to the Oscars awards ceremony years ago. Later, the entire entertainment industry coveted owning one of Elvis's designs, considering it an honor. This dress of Ning Shi should be one that Elvis donated at a charity auction five years ago. It was his proudest work and fetched a sky-high price at the time. Am I right, Ning Shi? What? Guan Xiaoqi suddenly delivered this lengthy background, but Ning Shi didn't understand a single word. 
Fang Ye was initially stunned, then burst into laughter, ha ha ha, this is hilarious. A dress that sold for a high price would appear here? Guan Xiaoqi, just because you're from the same company as Ning Shi, you shouldn't make up such nonsense to help her. Ha ha. Guan Xiaoqi dares to say anything. She mentioned someone called Elvis? I've never heard of him. Must be made up. Naturally, others didn't believe her. Some asked her to spell the designer's name, then searched it on the spot. Unexpectedly, they found this dress. It's real. This designer is incredible. He disappeared suddenly after a brief moment of fame. That's why most people don't know about him. And look at the related introduction. The dress in the picture is exactly the same as Ning Shi's. Fang Ye glanced over, her expression slightly dazed. Then, she casually dismissed it, it must be a knockoff, a copy. Yeah, this dress has been kept in private collections all these years. How could it appear here? It's impossible. It's the same one. I won't be mistaken. Guan Xiaoqi's tone was extremely firm and confident as she looked at Ning Shi for confirmation. However, Ning Shi was completely bewildered and couldn't respond to her words. Wasn't this a worthless prototype? Fang Ye laughed until she trembled, this is too funny. If this dress is real, I'll crawl out of here today. You said it yourself. Guan Xiaoqi hummed, then turned to the others, saying, in fact, it's easy to prove the authenticity. Elvis's designs are characterized by the embellishment of gemstones, and every gemstone on this dress is genuine. If you don't believe it, come and verify it yourselves. Oh, and if you don't understand, don't pretend to be knowledgeable. Fang Ye, who are you saying doesn't understand? Fang Ye's face turned red with anger. Whoever thinks they're the one. Anyone knowledgeable in the field would be interested in this dress. So, after Guan Xiaoqi spoke, someone finally stepped forward. Well then, let me take a look? A seemingly calm girl walked up from behind. As soon as everyone saw her, their eyes lit up, right, right. Fei Fei, you come and see. You understand it the best. Fei Fei is a top-level jewelry appraiser. I almost got scammed once, and she helped me identify it. Since Fei Fei is here to take a look, it must be fine. Fang Ye also expressed no objection, looking at Guan Xiaoqi and Ning Shi with a gloating expression, now someone knowledgeable is here. Let's see how you can still pretend.